This morning, a U.S. senator is receiving help for clinical depression. Pennsylvania's John Fetterman was just elected in November, beating Dr. Mehmet Oz. Fetterman suffered a stroke during his campaign, but has now checked himself into Walter Reed Medical Center for depression. News Nation's Nick Smith is here with what we know this morning on how he's doing. Nick. Morning, good morning. Initially, we thought that this may be short term, but a senior aide to Mr. Fetterman just said a few moments ago that the senator could be in inpatient treatment for at least a few weeks, possibly as long as the first or second week of March. In a statement from Fetterman's office, they say the senator checked himself into Walter Reed Hospital voluntarily to receive treatment for clinical depression. In a statement, Fetterman's chief of staff writes, quote, while John has experienced depression off and on throughout his life, it only became severe in recent weeks. The statement continues and reads, on Monday, John was evaluated by Dr. Brian Monahan, the attending physician of the United States Congress. Yesterday, Dr. Monahan recommended inpatient care at Walter Reed. Now Fetterman's health has been front and center since his Senate campaign last year. Republicans, including his opponent, Dr. Mehmet Oz, tried to claim a stroke in May had impacted Fetterman's ability to serve. Now at a live Democratic retreat last year, uh, last week, uh, after feeling lightheaded, Fetterman was admitted to GW University Hospital. Now the senator underwent a battery of tests and according to his team, got a clean bill of health. As for his current treatment for depression, a spokesperson said uh, again that he may be in treatment for the next few weeks. Marnie. Wow, Nick. Uh, so his wife, we know, has released a statement about her husband's hospitalization. Did she share any additional information about his health and what else she's seeing? Well, oh, Marnie, Mrs. Fetterman actually posted a statement to Twitter. Uh, she asked for privacy during this difficult time, but she also expressed praise for her husband. Uh, and she wrote in part that after what he's been through in the past year, there's probably no one who wanted to talk about his own health less than John. I'm so proud of him for asking for help and getting the care he needs. And Marnie, that seems to be a sentiment that's just been echoed uh, around the world, actually. Uh, uh, across the United States, people uh, who in their own personal lives have just talked about how they are really pleased with the uh, senator being transparent about needing help and, and seeking it. Yeah, and I'm also really pleased, Nick, that uh, red or blue people understand that health is first. We're seeing lawmakers on both sides put politics aside. Lots of people offering support for Senator Fetterman. Absolutely, Marnie. And you and I both know that it's rare that we see bipartisan support in anything. Uh, generally rare for people who, who to speak openly about their mental health and even rarer still is for a sitting official to acknowledge receiving treatment. But the senator is receiving widespread bipartisan support for his transparency. Many of his colleagues from both parties posting reactions on social media. Representative Richie Torres of New York saying, millions of Americans are rooting for you, Senator. And Senator Ted Cruz of Texas also posting on Twitter, Heidi and I are lifting John up in prayer. You'll remember that they have been open about their own uh, mental health and, and the crises that they've had with their own daughter. Now, according to the Depression and Bipolar Support Alliance, major depressive disorders affect more than 17 million adults per year, Marnie. That's about 7% of the population. And doctors say that Fetterman's previous stroke could complicate treatment and that depression after a stroke is rather common, happening in more than one third of stroke patients, Marnie. Yeah, important that we talk more about it because lots of people are dealing with it, trying to cope. Uh, we wish him a speedy recovery as he gets treatment. Nick, thank you for that. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.